Um, hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. We are doing a Project on Tableau Vivant, which just to give you a brief reminder of what that is, it is the um, use of a photo to use as inspiration for dramatic performance, basically bring the photo alive. And we chose to do a photo on Yalta of the th big three leaders. And we're going to show you a quick clip that will give you some context for what we're going to be talking about. So Raymond, if you could just... In February of 1945, Yalta on the Black Sea was the scene of a big free meeting that included Secretary of State Statinius and his Russian and British counterparts. They awaited Mr. Churchill's arrival and that of President Franklin Roosevelt for the conference that drew up the terms of unconditional surrender for Nazi Germany. The President's daughter and Churchill's daughter were here as aides at the conference held in the Summer Palace of the Last Tsar. Harry Hopkins conferred with Mr. Eden as they awaited the arrival of Premier Stalin, the man Russia wants to forget. The eight-day meeting laid the plans for a charter meeting of the United Nations, as they agreed that nothing less than unconditional surrender must be Germany's lot. As they met, German resistance was collapsing, and the war was to end in Europe just two months later. The architects of the Allied victory in Europe. Today is a great day for the motherland. Not only are our armies within kilometers of Berlin, but we have secured our, our future. Poland, an issue not only of history, but also of Russia's safety, is now under our control and will be under our control forever. We have expanded our borders to the Curzon Line, which will displace millions of Germans. This is just the beginning of the sufferings Germany should pay. They have caused us extreme casualties and and we have had to have major sacrifices and our soldiers have bled and we deserve to be repaid for these efforts. The United Nations is something that is going to be very weak and will not do anything to, protect, to hurt our interests or what Russia wants to achieve. Our veto will make sure that they have no say in, in what, we, what we can do and that we will be able to control all of Eastern Europe and make them communism like us. The world will be ours and we will be supreme and have total domination. In this monumental conference, we have come up today with the establishment of the United Nations founded in our, the principles of the Atlantic Charter. We believe that each nation has the responsibility to enshrine world peace. We have it under our definition that every nation is included, every small nation across the planet. If our brothers are oppressed, we are oppressed. If they hunger, we hunger. That is why we need to move together as one people on this planet so that we can be deserving of the name man. We have it so that the Security Council has a group of seven of which there will be two members that will be rotated. We have it so that there are veto so that we can discuss on matters and so that America will be able to debate whether or not we shall intervene with our forces. Our boys in arms across the world today are dying in the cause of freedom. We need it so that we remember what they have done, and we do not commit the errors of the Versailles Conference. It is our responsibility to strive forward as one group on this planet, and hopefully we will strive so that every person of every race, of every religion, shall be recognized. We have it also that Poland shall have a democratic government it will be reorganized with the Lublin Poles involved so that we will have Polish leaders abroad in this government. 
Stalin has agreed under the Declaration of European Nations that we will have democratic elections and that they will be under the secret ballot and universal suffrage. I do believe that this time things will have changed. We have also secured from Stalin the entry into the war against Japan. Two to three months after the defeat of Nazi Germany, the Soviet Union will enter the war on our behalf and take out the Japanese enemy, the scourge across the land. The Japanese, it has been said, will fight to the death, and I have been told that this war could last till 1947 and have upwards to one million casualties. Therefore, I look forward to the new world order where we will vanquish the fascist scourge of the land, but so that we will also work together as a community of one. May God grant us the ability to work together so that the 20th century shall go down as one where we were finally able to destroy the old doctrine of spheres of influences. What a crock of bullshit. <laughs> Good friends, today marks almost the end of Great Britain's struggle. We have fought over our skies. We have fought on the beaches. We have fought on the landing grounds. We are pushing ever further into Fortress Riopa. And yet, victory is not yet in our grasp. The peace we have achieved, or will achieve, I should say, between these three powers is a compromise. A compromise which I do not think will last long. Poland. Great Britain sheltered her government. We let them live in exile in Britain. And this man, this Stalin, says he will let them have free and democratic elections. And this optimist believes him. Really? Roosevelt, my dear friend, you're an idealist. Something which will not last long in this world. No. Stalin will flex his muscles. He will have Eastern Europe, even though we have compromised on the issue time and time again. Oh, how weary I grow of all this. In France, Stalin doesn't want them to have a seat on the Security Council. He doesn't want them to have a zone of occupation, unless it comes out of mine and Roosevelt's. Screw that. No, I will tell you, good Stalin, France deserves a zone of occupation. Even if this conference has a high price, that being five million soldiers in the field or less, or more, excuse me. No, France must be represented. My friends, Great Britain will go on. Our commonwealth shall go on, and we have fought the good fight for far too long against Nazi Germany. However, with this new dawn, I don't see any end to conflict. What I do see, I'm sorry, it's very good whiskey. Um, <laughs> what I do see, though, is an iron curtain descending across Eastern Europe, cutting us off from places that need us. And they will be under the reign of a tyrant. Let there be no mistake. Hail Britannia!